Ramaygut last Ken Corla Tom Abrasos de on Bella Shah Taki Okhorch on Bella Shah in relation to this bill we obviously welcome the necessity and the reason for it and the added powers that will be will be necessary for the Gardaí in what I'm going to imagine are going to be a very small number of situations um, but before I deal with that uh, the fact that this deals with Garda powers I would just like to commend Gardaí a number of whom I uh, dealt with over the weekend who were involved alongside the Coast Guard um, and Dundalk Sub Aqua Club and a number of other people in what was a very tragic situation um, a search and recovery as I say my thoughts go out to the family of uh, the man that was um, that was lost but I have to commend the Gardaí I also have to commend the Gardaí in relation to um, the case of 30 tons of uh, commercial waste building rubble that um, was dumped just outside Dundalk on the Doylesford Road and the Gardaí came upon it. They caught the truck that was involved and I believe uh, they're pretty far on at this stage in relation to an investigation which will hopefully have uh, a, a beneficial end because uh, Dundalk is like many towns and uh, are here and many rural areas throughout Loud and throughout the entire state that have been um, absolutely hammered over the years by illegal dumping whether it's on a small scale or a large scale so once again I, I just think it would be remiss of me not to commend the Gardaí in relation to that um, now like I said previously I don't believe these powers will be necessary in most cases most publicans and restaurateurs that are in operation are operating really really well they're operating really really good businesses that they've done over the years and they want to stay open but there is a necessity at times to deal with people who continually uh, break the rules and I'm really welcome the fact that there are a number of stages in relation to the penal part of this legislation so I think that's um, absolutely necessary uh, I would also like to add my voice to other people particularly uh, my colleagues in Sinn Féin in relation to the necessity of a sunset clause because legislation like this doesn't, ne doesn't necessarily fit very well with the, with, with the Irish psyche but I accept we've all seen scenes and we need not to get overly worked up about them but that are unacceptable and we need to ensure that the Gardaí have the facility if they come upon that in the future in a pub type setting and um, that this can be dealt with I'd also welcome um, and I'm I may be paraphrasing I hope I'm not misquoting uh, Minister McEntee earlier on the radio who said that this may provide almost uh, part of a roadmap for the reopening of what we now term uh, wet pubs again a, sept a sector that has uh, taken a real real toll in the last period and so we need to facilitate them as much as possible while also accepting that uh, the government will be led by uh, NFET but I think there's a necessity to see what can be done and uh, how quickly it can be done we're dealing with an element of anger out there in society and some of it is down to the fact of um, a, a lack of clarity uh, from government or from government communications the last set of restrictions um, a number of people have come to me and what they stated is that they were poorly put across that some of them changed afterwards i'm talking specifically about rules in relation to um, gyms and some of these may have been sensible changes but uh, and i realized that basketball ireland had looked for an update which they got in relation to being able to continue games inside which made sense and i accept that when you're setting out rules you won't always cover every base but i believe in this case there was too many bases that weren't covered we also had unfortunate commentary from um, some ministers and I, I don't think i need to get into the fact that people were irate on the basis of they saw pretty drastic breaches of rules and um, I, I think a narrative that, that even outside of a time of pandemic that people would not be happy about in relation to um, certain cohorts of people including politicians and bankers and others um, 
continuing on as per normal, as you know, as they believe their worst notions of politics and the old boys network. So uh, we, we need to avoid as much of that as possible, while also accepting that rule breaches will happen from time to time, sometimes almost accidentally. Um, we call on people to uh, maintain the rules in relation to um, obviously the amount of people they have in their houses, but from time to time people will call and people will be in slight breach, but they just need to be as careful as possible. But we don't need a case of um, everybody almost uh, reporting their neighbours in an almost Stasi situation. Now, that's not to say where there are breaches that are utterly criminal and they need to be reported as quickly as possible. So what I would call on is clarity from government. People are calling out for, uh, they're calling out for leadership. People are generally better than sometimes we give them credit for. And if an argument is put across to them well, they will be willing to accept it. And I'm very glad to hear the Taoiseach say that within the next two weeks, we will have uh, a plan in relation to how we operate into the near future. Because, right, an awful lot of us had probably set artificial timelines in relation to how long this would go on. But uh, in a best case scenario, we could be incredibly lucky and we could have a vaccine in six, nine months. But that's rather unlikely. And, and I think people are talking about the possibility of dealing with these pre the present situation we're, we're in for another two years anyway. So we need to ensure that that plan is well thought out. And I accept every plan needs to be revised. But we need to ensure that it takes into account those businesses and those sectors, like pubs, that have hit the ground. We also have the difficulty in relation to the travel sector. I spoke to a, a number of travel agents myself, and people who are utterly um, exposed at this point in time, that consumer laws that are absolutely necessary are actually putting them under incredible pressure, not particularly helped by the likes of uh, Ryanair in relation to how they pay their money back. And we just need uh, sector by sector solutions in relation to this. And look, people are willing to deal with government. Opposition is willing to be sound in these sets of circumstances, but we need clear, absolutely clear commentary. And uh, look, we are dealing somewhat with some of the weaknesses that were already uh, in our society, whether that related to um, workers' rights, whether it related to schools, whether it related to the drug problem that we're dealing with and the other issues that the Gardaí are dealing with, and also the lack of mental health services. So these are all things that have been a problem, but a plan will need to take all of them into account.